Uh, thank you, uh, Laska Herlock. Uh, firstly, Minister, I want to welcome you to the Shamit and uh, congratulate you on your appointment as Minister. I know that you will discharge your duties with great competence and professionalism. Uh, Minister, I found myself in, in the most unexpected uh, position as a new Senator of concurring completely uh, with the uh, motion as proposed by um, Senator Mullen. And I am very honoured to have had the opportunity uh, to put my name to this, and I'm very grateful for that. Uh, I believe that it is a sensitively crafted motion uh, that addresses the very serious matter and accurately reflects the appropriate responses on the part of our nation. Uh, what we watch and read, when we watch and read about the Holocaust and Shoah, I often wonder what I would have done. Would I have spoken up? What cost I would have been prepared to pay for the defence of human rights and dignity of fellow human beings? I would like to think that I would have had the courage to speak up regardless of consequences, be they trade or otherwise. I've had the, visit, the honour of visiting Rwanda and I have taught counselling skills to community leaders there to assist them in supporting their communities in the aftermath of genocide. And I've seen firsthand the consequences when human life and rights are reduced so savagely such that they are denied their very right to life and their very way of life is despised and disposable. The plight of the Uyghur Muslims is horrific. The accounts we have heard are harrowing. I want to acknowledge those relatives of the Uyghur people here in Ireland and their anxiety and mourning for the plight of their loved ones within China. I note too that the EU have uh, stated that if, if it is confirmed such appalling practices which would constitute um, serious human rights violations must be stopped immediately and those responsible held accountable. At the same time, I note the reports of the, Chinese, of the China scholar Adrian Zen um, that there were near zero population growth uh, in the Uyghur region in China. That growth rates fell by 84% uh, between 2015 and 2018, further again in 2019, and, uh, and that was in the two largest uh, Uyghur Muslim prefectures. And in 2018, 80% of all the IUD placements in China were performed in Xinjiang, in Xinjiang, despite the fact that the region only makes up 1.8% of the nation's population. The, the EU added the words if, and they stopped short of calling this uh, ge a genocide, but I won't. We are observers of a genocide. What are we to do in the face of this horrific injustice and attempted racial obliteration? Let us be clear, this is the wiping out of men, women and children just because they happen to be born within a particular culture and religion. The interview with the Chinese ambassador was chilling. Um, in in counselling we, ha we have a concept called gaslighting. And gaslighting is defined as a cynical tactic in which a person or entity manipulates another in the hope of acquiring power to lead uh, them to the question, the reality. Gaslighting has five factors. One, lies. Two, a denial in the face of proof. Three, to manipulate your feelings towards a group of people or the things against you. Three, to wear, or four, to wear down your resolve. And five, that their actions don't match their words. We, as an Irish people, have a noble uh, history of defending and speaking out for human rights. We are a people who the issue of genocide strikes a sensitive resonance. The denial of language, culture, religion and identity are within our collective memory. Uh, we now have an opportunity to call that out as an, on the national and international stage and we need to stand with the Uyghur people in China and with their relatives living amongst us here in our own country signalling our empathy in tangible terms, in condemning the actions of China. And I commend uh, the proposals of this motion and this motion to the House. Thank you.